Hi, I'm Meredith from Peachy Speechy. I'm a speech language pathologist and author of the book, I Can Say the R Sound. One of the things I talk about in this book is using Play-Doh to teach the R sound by making Play-Doh tongues. And that's what we're going to do today. As you may recall from my other videos, the R sound can be made with two main tongue shapes, bunched and retroflexed. We're going to make both of those tongue shapes with Play-Doh today. So grab some dough and do it with me. I actually made my own. I call it tongue dough because it really looks like a tongue. And you can download the recipe for this on my website, peachyspeachy.com. Um, but for this activity, any kind of dough will work. First, we're making a bunched tongue. So grab your dough and roll it into a nice smooth ball. Next, use your palm to squish your Play-Doh flat like this. You're going to want the back to be wider and the tip to be more narrow, just like a real tongue. Like this. Now that we have our nice flat tongue, we need to bunch it back, just like we bunch our real tongues back in our mouth when we say the R sound. I put it on the table and I squish it back to bunch it up. Then I pick it up and make sure that the back sides of the tongue are lifted up. Because remember, when we say the R sound, the back sides of our tongue are up touching the insides of our back teeth. And there we have it, a bunched R. Check out this tongue we made. It's a pretty good bunched tongue. Let's put it in the mouth. And now that you know the tongue shape, let's see if you can say the R sound. I'll say it first and you say it after me. Err. You try. Good job. That was fun. Now I'm going to put some visuals on the screen in case you want to pause the video and make another tongue. But stay tuned because we're going to make a retroflex tongue next. We're going to start by rolling our Play-Doh into a ball. Then we're going to squish it into a tongue shape. Remember, the back is going to be wider and the tip is going to be more narrow. Then we have to make sure the back sides are lifted and the tip is curled back. There's our retroflex tongue shape. Let's put our retroflex tongue in a mouth and try and say that R sound. Remember the back sides of your tongue are lifted and the tongue tip is curled back. You have to have some tension and your voice is on. I'll say it first and you do it after me. Err. You try. Good. Now I'm gonna put step-by-step -step visual directions on the screen for the retroflex tongue if you wanna pause the video and practice again. I think it's best to use a squishy dough so you can show the movement of the tongue, but if you want a tongue that is always in the correct shape, you can use this Model Magic dough here because it hardens when it dries. So you can make a tongue, let it dry for one to two days, and then paint it pink so you have a bunched, and a retroflex tongue in the correct position all the time. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you had fun making Play-Doh tongues with me. I hope it helped you with your R sound. If you want my book, I Can Say the R Sound, you can get this at peachyspeachy.com. You can also get sweatshirts, mugs, and tons of fun gifts there as well. Now that we're all done, let's wake up Ducky. He loves to sleep next to me when I make these videos. Hey Ducky, you gonna wake up? Hey buddy. Ducky is the cuddliest dog. He's so sweet. You sleepy? Wanna say bye to everybody? Say bye.